This is a video using the XTech BR250 boroscope. So you can see I have the boroscope all set up, the camera is on, although you probably won't be able to see the picture in this light. And I have the extender all the way attached, although I do have it bent back because I'm going to be working in close, not very far. As you can see, I have a socket pried off of the wall here. We've been having some water damage problems in this wall, particularly along the bottom of this uh, sill underneath these sockets. And I'm a little worried that some of these sockets might be leaking. They were put in by a, an electrician, and I'm worried he didn't seal them quite well enough. One of the nice things about this boroscope is the head is fairly small, and I'm usually able to slip it into small places like this, just like that. So now I can see, although you can't see, the uh, inside of the wall here. The picture is very good. I haven't had any trouble with it. The brightness adjustment here on the body uh, works for almost any light. If I turn it down, I can't see what's going on in there. If I turn it all the way up, I can see just about perfectly, even with the reflection off the video LCD screen here. So I'm looking around right now. Unfortunately, I really can't see any of the water damage originating from this spot, although I do suspect that it is coming from somewhere right around here. But as you can see, it's, it's very flexible. The head itself is quite small. That's the entirety of the head right there, and it has three different LED lights around it, so it allows it to do a really nice job of lighting up in there. I'm not going to use any attachments right now, but you can see there's a small pinhole right there. You can put little mirrors and other attachments on here as well. Stretched out, it's almost three feet long, which is pretty good. If I was going to try to go from up in here all the way up to the electrical box above, I could almost reach all the way up. So for doing small jobs like this, when you're trying to get inside the walls, see if there's termite damage, see if there's any water damage, it's pretty much ideal. Uh, it's, it's, you know, a little bit expensive, but comparatively for the industry, it's a pretty good entry-level option with a lot of professional features. It can take videos, you can take pictures, and most importantly, you get a really good image of what you see inside the wall. Anyway, that's all for right now. I just wanted to show you a little bit of using the BR250 X-Tech Boroscope. I like the product. I'm very happy with the purchase. That's all. Thank you.